Hey. Hello. All right, I think everything is ready here. Uh, yep. So the cursor on screen uh, is from Luxit. It's a quick uh, Landius first ban and oh, Dongo with the Liana first ban. That's uh, not something you see every day. Yep, they're going. Bands like going by very quickly here. Yeah. <laughs> so second band, uh, let's see here, Zerida and Listel. That has been a uh, quite common ban for all of the top matches recently. Mhm. Mm and the first picks from both players, Juggler picked up by Dango. First uh, Liana ban, so first pick is Landius on Luxid. Uh, Dango's going for the uh, Scarlet Banner of Rachel and uh, Wilder here. He's going for all the gospel and the spells. I see. Well, that certainly looks like it's a fine choice here. He can ban the other gospel, Rachel, ban another healer to force up a healer pick. And then there isn't going to be any more good dispellers or gospels. Go no. Iris, though. Interesting. Going for double healer bands, so Luxit can choose to pick up Rachel to get a dispel plus gospel, or he can get up a TRS for a dedicated healer. Yep, so second pick from Dangle is the Rene, and Luxit goes for the TRS over Rachel here. I think that's smart here. Yeah, now he has to ban out hmm. Rachel though. And then he's gonna ban out. So Luxa definitely seems to be like sort of afraid of the all the uh this like the debuffs here, but I would have picked Rachel here. And just banned all the other threats like Joshua. Ban the heat well, as well. I don't think he wanted to fight Wyler, and he couldn't give Ren Bozel, and then uh, Dongo could pick Claret into that. I think it would have been a lot easier to play the uh, no healers, just with Rachel, Gospel, Dispel, over this just a Rachel TRS. Choice here. Yeah, I'm kind of confused about Dongo's bans here. Yeah. Because um, he was going for one thing, but... Now he's going for the other. Well, he can still bet out Rachel here. I'm not sure about giving Luxed this Zarda either. If you're going to play something like a uh, AoE team, this, uh, like the debuff team, I would imagine you can look to survive your opponent's assassins. I, I think I would have not banned Iris there if I was Luxed and probably banned Rachel. Yeah, and then just play a bunch of AoEs and debuffs, uh -huh. right? Yeah, Luxed seems pretty safe here, to be honest. Like, just giving Luxed this assassin means he can attack Bless the Zerda and she's going to get a guaranteed kill on one of the like huge threats like the Rene on the angle side. Well, and, and Luxa either gets a strong legend unit or a faction buff for Zerida here. Also, is a good pick here. Yeah. So the Joshua here can faction buff for Rene, or he can look to just use Princess faction buff for Joshua. And on Luxit side, he have a two tanks actually, so he can bring the meteor faction buff for Juggler, which is very nice. 
Now you can have Maybe a full power Alistair. juggler. You can even... Wait, he's not bringing a Meteor Factor buff here? No, he's gonna go Alizard uh, with puzzle buff, I think, which is... I, 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 I think that's good. I mean, he has like, to go Alizard because he can't kill Rene or Rachel. Rachel, if you go fashion buff, you're gonna kill yourself. Right, but I don't think he needs the slice stride. Just having a faction buff makes your juggler, like, uh, do a ton more damage. You can give it attack blessing, and then you can one-shot your opponent's juggler through water. Well, the game's gonna depend on what kind of deep buffs Rene's gonna be able to put on the yeah. other team. But at the same time, uh, Lux did as Bozo as well. But I mean, there's Rachel, but she's not gonna be able to clean up everything. Yeah, the Rachel is quite good against the Bozo here, but I don't think you're going to be able to deal with that Zerda that easily. Now, using the Old Hazard does make her immune to all debuffs, so that's mm -hmm. a good thing about using that build. Yeah, there's uh, there's not much we can block here, other, unless we stay behind, behind those pillars. So. Yeah, I mean, like, basically Ren's gonna get a guaranteed kill on someone. So he's trying to be assassin proof here, but Old Hazard's just gonna go through all that. Yeah. Yep. We have all There's... the tanky troops on everyone. Yeah, because that Rene has uh, meditation, Rachel has meditation. And Dango's going for the uh, AoE strategy here with mm -hmm. the Joshua, Rachel, and then Juggler, but it's just not going to work that well because he gave him Juggler and a healer here. Yeah. So. I don't think this uh, juggler on the angle side really needed the magic guard. Instead, I would have probably just brought the uh, faction buff for Origins well, of I mean, Light. He brought it for the AoE, right? I mean, it's just yeah, more he damage. did just to do more damage. Yeah. I suppose you're right, you don't really need the faction buff if you're not trying to play a tank push game here. Yeah. Because you'll definitely lose against Luxit's team. The attack blessing juggler or even just the Zerda can carry everything. Yeah, I mean, the Zerda's guaranteed kill, whoever she hits. It's just that choosing which target. I think Rene is the most annoying target. She is. Yes, because of the debuffs. Mm -hmm. So, I guess the main target will be Rene. Yeah, this turn, Lux is not going to use the Al Hazard because it's not going to accomplish anything. Most likely. One more, one more turn to get closer. Oh, or he's going to use it. Now, Dango do have the Luna over there, so he could speed up everyone if this Zerda does not use El Hazard. Yeah, I I think the Landy's move first makes more sense, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want you to see to... what your opponent's doing here and probably just move up the Zerda last year. Yeah. If your opponent's Luna does something gets ready, then you can get ready yourself. Otherwise, you don't need to do anything. Well, the good thing is all of Dango's units are uh, walking. They're, they're not using sorcerers, so it's gonna be good for Luna. Well, Luna's gonna help him. Yeah, I think 
Luxid might need to Alhazard this turn just so he doesn't get um Let's see if it clocks here. No oh. clock. Mm -hmm. Uh just so he doesn't get runic voided on Zerida. Yeah, Alhazard is only going to reach Red in here, right? The lack of Which clocks is fine. It's pretty bad yeah. actually. Oh, oh Grease, though. Grease. I mean, still just going to reach Rene. Or Chasha as well, so... Well, and Luna's going to obviously go into the threat range, although I wouldn't take out Luna. Hmm. Now, Dangle yeah. does move first, so he could just move the um, Rene out of range. To be honest, though, in order for his... Uh, AoE plan to be successful, he kind of needs Joshua. Yeah. Because uh, Rene really does no damage. It's just. I don't know was. about that Calamity throw. Like, like might as well. Yeah, yeah, might as well just sacrifice Rene and just <laughs> throw in the debuff for some. Like, if it clocked, I guess it would have been better. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. If it clocked, then she's, she's more, much more valuable there. But you can just throw away the Rene for free, right? Yeah, Otherwise, you just instantly lose. Let's see who he picks here. Okay, so he saves yes. Rene. So Dango just plays a save here. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah the Josh roll is in range. I think you kill Josh. Josh is free here. Yeah, Josh was free here. Because I think she gets out safely. Right. Not quite Please. safe. The Luna can still catch up. Yeah, but that Luna's not gonna kill Zerida. It's a faction buff. Look. Instead, Lux it plays it safe as all. Well. Now going for the trade on Joshua. Unless that Luna is Windspiral and a Lightning. No, no, no. It's, no. Just, it's 3C. That's definitely not gonna kill. So. The Zerida does not escape to um, use Hide and Seek. So. The Luna with Ragnarok can look to kill, but I doubt I think anyone else uses. Left, huh? Yeah. If the Luna is not on Ragnarok, then I would agree oh, she won't kill. I'm not sure about this play either. Um, I actually don't mind this because if you get a silence on Rachel. Well, Rachel's uh. Oh, Gospel, Gospel, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So this really doesn't do much. Well, it's and not like Dango cause... can do a whole lot here. Just because Actually, of the uh, Zerida support, right? Yeah, if if that Zerida was attack blessed, or he doesn't have attack plus, I guess. That could have killed that juggler, I think. Yeah, he could have killed that juggler. He, he could still, still kill that option. juggler. Yeah, yeah he's, he can still kill that juggler right now. Did the stream quality just go bad? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if Rachel doesn't heal up that juggler, I think that juggler is dead right now. Yeah, this third uh, does not have an attack blessing here. I think the TRs did bring attack blessing. I think it was just not used turn oh, one, maybe. Okay, I think that juggler is dead. 822 defense is dead. Let's I'm see, pretty 822 sure defense dead. in water, but you're ignoring all the troops here. Uh. Attack blessing uh, I first. I would have one for that. Because now Rachel can do something here. Right? I don't know what moving Landius forward does. Well, he's actually baiting out the Rachel to move forward so he can snipe the Rachel. Right. The Rachel, Rachel still can move heal, forward. Yeah. And if you don't full heal the juggler to have the last rights, then it's very likely dead to uh, the Zerida. Yes, I am pretty sure it's 100% dead right now. So, where's the attack blessing though? No yeah, attack blessing, just, just going in. Right yeah, that's 100%. Oh, yep, that's a dead, yep. dead dog. Yeah, the quality is getting even <laughs> worse now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another breeze. We even switched from the uh, like the Discord streamer from Dangle to Luxit, but now this yeah. is the same quality. Yeah, that's, that's pretty strange. Actually, look at the, the Zerida portrait. It still looks good. Yeah, the bottom of the screen was fine. Yeah, <laughs> everything else yeah. is dead. Yeah, the, the enemy moving part yeah. is also looking pretty good. <laughs> that's kind of strange. 
-hmm. So it's not oh, lag. Words. That's for sure. Well, that's just, you know, Tyrus just heals that back up, right? Yeah. It's a neutral move at best. Okay, so the uh, Tiaras did not bring attack blessing. Well, it's getting better now. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I think this core's just been having a lot of issues lately. Might be that. This decay could be good. Applies a whole bunch of debuffs here. The Zerda mm -hmm. can't do anything here, and she is not immune to debuffs this turn. Now, hitting the juggler as well means uh, everything is full healed. I would... Like... Mm, the sleep is a good choice. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, really, anything is a good choice here. It's like, giving Luxed this juggler on top of oh, going yeah. this heavy AoE team here. Oh, that's right, it's uh, immune. Yeah, but now now Zerda can kill though. Right? Yeah. The auto or you could B shock him. Yeah. Actually, why not just attack Rachel with all the skill? Wait, you can attack with Landius now. Yeah, I yeah, don't know where it's. Mass heal and then... These shock won't work as you you cannot receive buffs. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, mm, the DK. No, no, no. Yeah, and then also look at that attack right now. He's debuffed, so I think he lost so, the passive. Oh, uh, yeah. That definitely looks like a, a disabled passive here. Can't do anything, can't do any damage. Yeah, that's uh, sad. Yeah, but that's rough. But he's it's... Just, he's just saving Tyrus right now because Joshua still has an AoE. Yeah. Yeah, the Zerda can pick off the Rachel anytime. The auto attack will kill her. No affection buff. Not hundred percent. The only issue is that uh, Zerda will not get uh, hide and seek next turn. So Landius well, can I mean, kill everyone here. Yeah, he could just mass heal before Zerda goes in though. Because I don't think that Joshua can reach Zerda anyway right now. Uh, yeah, he oh, can. Dark Demise? Dark Demise, yeah, yeah, Dark Demise, yeah. Probably the best choice here, to be honest. This is not going to do much here. Yep, both hitting into the Landius and also into the Struggler. Yeah, now it's safe to mass heal and then go for that Rachel. So, Zerda is almost full healed, but just missing slight amounts of he uh, health on the bandits. I actually cannot mass heal everybody. The uh, Landius is heal blocked. Uh, the juggler. Mm -hmm. is... I think the Bolson's heal blocked too. Yeah. I I'm not sure about this, because this might not kill. Oh, this does kill. That's absolutely a kill, apparently. So okay. Dangle does not seem to be running the uh, last rites. Oh. Oh. No, I don't see. Know. Yep, so Bozo is also heal blocked. I don't know about attacking Josh. I'd attack Rachel. Hmm, I will too. Well, could have moved though, too, right? Because you get a little bit of yeah. damage bonus. Yeah, I would have moved. I believe this Rachel is out of anything now. Rene is not out of everything. It's just Joshua with one more AoE. Right. This struggler is still providing the uh, fixed damage immunity. So, still going to be quite difficult to kill that Bozo here. I think Bozo's also out of uh, skills. If this Rachel wants to live though, she needs to Reap or something. Yeah, that's, yeah, not, that's not killing. Yeah. That gives uh, Zerida a spot to move to now. 
I don't know. I like the strategy that Tango used against me. Uh, like he kind of did something similar in the beginning. It seems that. So Josh is weak against both of the tanks, Landius and Juggler. Should yes. really ban out like one of them, probably Landius, and then pick up a hero reversal if you want to do any damage with Joshua. Well, I just think he just didn't have a choice. Because I think Joshua was a fifth pick, right? Yes. So it wasn't like he was trying to use him, but he ended yeah. up with Joshua. But he also let both tanks through, so... The rest of the AoE units weren't all that effective either. Mm -hmm. Like with Rene, I think with any of those AoE debuff units, you want to do many things, not just one. You want to do both damage and apply debuffs. And then just make your opponent's healer be unable to dispel off everything. And then you win by having the superior stats yeah i think that initial calamity throw is a mistake like you can you can sit on breeze you can't sit on clock procs well i mean i guess if it actually clocked things would have went a little differently i'm not sure but if not your either. strategy is i'm first player and i'm just gonna hope for a clock proc that's kind of a loser <laughs> strategy <laughs> yeah yeah, instead of Rene, probably just go for Bozo first pick, or a uh, second pick. I mean, Bozo is definitely stronger right now than Rene. Yeah. She just yeah, doesn't. We're... She just doesn't do much damage. Ren really needs her three C to kind of have yeah. good PVP viability. And especially because it was Landius banned first, and Rene doesn't have faction buff. But then he got the uh, Joshua's right. So it looks like they're just uh, random queuing here. Yeah, he just got Kyrian. He's re -queuing. I don't know why they're doing the random queuing. Yep, since we did like make the uh, tournament with specific rules of choosing maps. Yeah, um, I'm kind of guilty of that. I think my like last three matches has been random, just queue. I mean, personally, I just like the randomness of uh, the map and the player, I guess. Okay, they should be re here. Nope, still finding other people here. Might as well just send each other like, yeah, a game I think, invite. Yeah, this is just... Like, yeah. I get if you want the random map, but just like take the first map that comes from the random queue and then queue yourselves, because there's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knows how many people so we there. have the rule for the tournament where the loser can choose to pick a map. Instead, mm -hmm. the uh, loser can also choose to not pick a map and just random queue here, like casual mode or something. I think that's what they're doing. So 
So Dango just want to be player one in the uh, using a random map rather than choosing. Very good map for Illustrial. Yeah. All right, so they're just going to use this map, the mm -hmm. Windy Alt Most uh, Windy Alt Post map, which is actually going to favor the Illustrial on the Luxit side. Mm -hmm. Well, Dango still do have this legend heavy box, so first banning land yes seems appropriate. This time, Luxit also also first got his land yes first banned. Both players with jugglers. Now I will definitely ban the Lustreal on this map. I think he might not ban it, to be honest. Uh, he can choose he thinks... to not ban it if he can survive the Illustrial. Yeah. Um, I actually used Illustrial twice on this map against Danga. And he did not ban Illustrial. So. Alright, so we see just... Liana and mm -hmm. Zerida ban. Again, just banning one of the four healers on Luxit's box. I'm not quite sure what he's trying to accomplish with that. We see the Illustrial can I can kill Claret and Luna here, but everyone else can survive. I see. Um, well, Rachel I kill, can Rachel can kill Bozel. No, no, Bozel's gonna survive. Really? With the skeletons, it's gonna survive. Yeah, even, even Rachel's gonna. What's that? Even with bone dinos? Yeah, even with bone dinos. Oh, wow. so, mm -hmm. so, Luxa got two more healers banned with the Iris and Tiaris. So he got the Wyler here, which does have Dispel. And Rachel can survive the range attack, but she'll die to the melee attack from Illustrial. So I'll pick up Wyler here, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, Wyler looks really good here. You just have mm -hmm. to bring Dispel, and then you'll probably be okay against Bozel. Yes. Yeah, Wild is a great pick here. Yeah, the options looks it has left in this box is a lot better than Dango's right now. In my opinion. I would agree. Now just because you have the Bozel pick on Dango's side, the Rachel on Luxit have to be banned. Yeah, Rachel's yep. pretty good at ban here. I think he probably bans Rachel Luna here. Interesting. So Rachel got left up. I mean, the Bozo is already not going to accomplish a whole lot here, I guess. Luna for Claret, I suppose. It's mm. also good against Rachel and Mystery Knight. Mm -hmm. And Yulia, which is also bad against And Bozo. actually everyone else in the box here, like Bozo, yeah, yeah. They're Yulia. All magic. Yeah, yeah, they're all it's magic. Actually, it's, it's actually a pretty good pick here. Yeah. Well, that also means he's going to lose the healer. Yeah. 
And also another problem is Illustrial can pick off Clara and Luna here. So. He might be going for Heaven's Guard and try to kill, but Luxit has Wilders, so it's not going to work. Yeah, Dongle's definitely going to pick Racial here. They'll pick yeah, an against Lestelle. Yeah. He I don't really like here. the Lestelle pick here. Yeah, Lestelle yeah. really can't um, combo with anyone here. Yeah. So I'm going to assume the Bracers uh, on the angle side are on the Juggler, Bozel, and the Luna. So you can yeah, kill them I... with fixed damage. You can. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Bracers on Luna, yes. Yeah, I don't really know about the Lestel pick there. And he, he is running the Blood flexibility. Dance. So it's only going to hit maybe the Rachel and Claret. I mean, at the same time, Listel can finger juggler, which or Rachel. Yeah, you give him a gospel. So I would have played this differently. So have the Lustrials only mission in this game is to uh, kill off the Rachel, and then you can bring someone else like Bozel that does the rest of the work. Well, Rachel would have helped enable, you know, either a Yuli or MK fifth pick if those were available. You know, Bozel's obviously self sufficient. Listel would have been fine as a fifth pick. I think Rachel just would have been a lot stronger fourth pick. Kind of confused about Lux's choices here. So Rachel um, can get fingered, but you can also just snipe with Illustrial. Unless... Why skill command though? Uh, is he the not going to change really the skill command off? Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure if the skill command is going to. Well, I mean, I think his plan is anyone. to kill um, that Bozo with this Illustrium, but it's not going to work. So he's still not changing off of the Demon Hunters yet. No, no, no. He it is going. I mean, it's just going to be a hit and run with the Healers three range, I guess. Hmm. I, I don't know. About... Then you need to bring attack. this. You need to bring this spell though. Yeah, I'm not sure about those skill choices. Yeah. Uh, so the Illustrial is just going to hit at 3 range. Yeah. Not really use a skill. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting choice. Also, I would have brought skeletons on Bozo, to be honest. Yeah, so... I mean, this... I, mean, I think he's trying to kind of kill the Illustrial, actually. Like, for me, with this Illustrial, I would have just uh, shoot the Rachel twice, kill her, and then carry with the rest of the team. I mean, Bozo's a bigger threat now, right? Because there's much, no? much bigger. Uh, is it really though? You can still kill off all of the units on the angle side just fingering Juggler. Well, he has Rachel Gospel though. Yeah, you either finger the Juggler or you can finger the Rachel. Well, I'm pretty confused about command, uh, the skill command. Does it do anything? Increases your crit rate marginally. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's twenty percent, I think. I mean, the twenty percent of skill, and I think ten skill is one percent, right? So, yeah, it's not much. No, I, I I completely agree. I suppose with no other passives, you don't have much of a other choice. But I mean, you can bring two attack skills, right? Yeah, just in case you want to hit something at range two, anyways. Mm -hmm. He's not going for that, just going for the three ranged hits. He might be thinking that Illustrial could die attacking, but then if you use melee, you're not gonna die. 
Yeah. He, he might have seen my fight with Dango and then I kill myself with Illustrial attacking Rachel. But well, that was a range mm. attack. If you melee, you're not gonna die. You're gonna kill But attacking me. at range 3 instead of range 1 means you can move around much better. Can't really. I mean, I guess you can keep hitting hit and run. That works because there's no healer, I suppose. You can just hit and run every other turn. Yeah, it's certainly an option. So the only time this Illustrial can melee is with using Onrush, right? And melee yes. troops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Onrush with uh, melee troops. Right? Passive skill. Yeah, passive skill works too. It's yeah, like or with the passive skill, but without the passive, you have to use Onrush. Yeah, well, if you bring passive, you only bring one skill anyway, one attack skill, so that's not that good. Unless you don't want to run away after hitting. So I think everyone is outside of Claret range here. Or they could be in Claret's range. Hard to tell here. Everything might be in Claret's range. Um, everything is currently in Claret's range, yeah. Yep. Okay, so the juggler could be difficult to move around. We do not have the uh, Juggler 3C yet. They should come out next week. And immediately after, we're going to start off our Season 3 Apex uh, playoffs. Do we check what skill that Claret has? Does, does the Claret have AoE? It will be assuming. Could make... I mean, it will be uh, surprising if... She did have it. Yeah. It could be good against the Wilder 3C. Yeah, yeah, it's actually pretty good against Wilder 3C. Because you just attack once and then kill off Wilder. Oh, this Wilder actually not even bring the spell. Just mass attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's why we said Bozel is a pretty big threat here. Yeah, that Rachel's gonna be pretty safe as long as she stays within like two range. Or just goes in. That's, That's actually pretty good damage. Yep. But yeah, really good. Kill. I guess he's just trying to snipe Wilder now. Everything is still guarded here. Uh, I mean, with this roar, you could dispel water. Nope, just oh. don't dispel water. No, dispel the Wilder 3C. Yeah, it dispels two, but it does not dispel water and fails to kill here. Oh, uh, Wilder didn't use his 3C last turn though, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. So it was a, it was actually a good turn to go on. It was mm. like decent, but now. Well, I'm not mm. sure why he didn't move the extra two squares behind. Yeah. Claret, but that could have been like the potential mistake as well, but it doesn't really matter all that much, I guess. Since this uh, juggler seems quite safe here. How many steps did he take? Only three. He could have taken five if he went behind. Yeah, that is kind of strange. Like Dango can trade his Luna for the juggler, but then he's losing two for the price of one.
and this Luna is going to be quite crucial in defending against the Mystery Knight later on. Yeah, not killing the juggler uh, by that little amount is a big uh, rip for Dongo. Yeah, since the ma mass stack just saved the juggler from the random dispels. Yep. Sometimes, uh, Langris, there's a game of inches. Yeah, he would definitely kill that juggler if he just moved two steps. That play was kind of strange. We've got the double breeze. Alright, so Lestrio can just take a shot at Rachel for free. And mm -hmm. then do it again later on. That Weiler has the the healing skill, right? The he is regroup, I think. Yeah, yeah. So Juggler's pretty safe. I guess the order doesn't really matter as long as you're going to heal up. This might be a mistake if he three sees because that bozo can't reach right with the Luna, or even next turn he can just AOE that juggler and the juggler dies. Yeah, I'm going to assume there's going to be a Luna three C here if Alastriel takes an action. Yeah, it's looking rough. Yeah. Now, since Dango is still moving first, uh, Luxit can move this Illustrial last. Mm -hmm. So he yep. can take a shot at Rachel or at Luna. Depending yeah, on which he, one he moves just, forward. Yeah, you can just zone out that Luna forever. Okay. Yeah, if that finger... Yeah. It's going to allow Illustrial to actually kill that Rachel now. Yeah. Or even that Bozal, I think. Because it breaks the 30% damage reduction. Yeah, you can wild their 3C and then just go. No, the Rachel does have Breeze, right? So, Rachel can throw out an AoE at the Lestelle if he wants the next turn. Alright, moves the Bozo. So he's going to move the Luna last here. There's yeah, the regroup. Better it's better like, like instead of 3C just in case your opponent uses any AoE, like Hurricane Blast, so the juggler doesn't just instantly die to that. Mm -hmm. Duna can come in. Is he just going to play safe? Or he's going to try? Do you have to shoot on one of the defensive terrains that is not walls, I believe. Otherwise, you're going to shoot the juggler. And I, I think he also brought the fixed damage one, which is pretty useless against these units. Mm, yeah. I would have shot the Rachel actually. Oh, the crystal wallocks are actually. Just in cool. case you don't kill. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a mistake. See? Um, 
Yeah, so just First in wall, case so HP, so. you don't kill this bozo, the Rachel can heal up the bozo. So well, instead, that... if you shot the Rachel, the Rachel is not going to heal up herself. True. But that but uh, crystal this warlock. Time, this AoE is gonna kill that bozo though, right? From is it? Uh, from MK, I think so. But now Bozo okay. can actually come in now. Yeah. I yeah. Like the Luna can the go in here, give plus mobility to the Bozo, and then Bozo can finish off uh, the Wilder there. Well, well, if he does that, Bozo's at risk because MK can AoE and then Chuckler is gonna do negative damage. Right. Negative healing, right? So. Okay, the Luna Aura might save Dangle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it oh. might actually help. Bozo There's the here. King's Crown on Bozo. Yeah, Blood Dance not a good move. Not gonna do anything. Well, Blood Dance would do some more damage to Bozo because just from uh, Jupiter. Oh, yeah. right. Yes. Actually, the Lestel can probably block just moving yeah, in that front too. of Rachel. That seems to play. Now, I think that might guarantee a kill here. And let's see the uh, Bozo's range again. I think Bozo's okay, right? I think if Bozo can reach. I don't think Bozo can reach. Oh, yeah, yeah, he okay. can. Okay. Still can reach. Mm -hmm. I will make that play, though. That's the. Because if you don't do that. Might as well kill that Wily, right? Because, I mean, Bozo's at risk right now. But if you do kill the Wyler, he does kill the Wyler. But now Bozo might go down oh, to... that's actually... Actually, it's I don't like this. Well, now Jubler just uses B-Shock. No, and the MK cannot kill that Bozo. Oh, wait, he didn't bring B-Shock. Ooh. But this is Ooh. pretty good. Yep, yeah. that's all physical yeah. damage. Yeah. That's Bozo that's just pretty dies. Good. That's pretty good. And I think that MK just finished off everyone here. Yep. She could. Yeah, because I don't think that Rachel can. Well, at least the. Yeah. At least the Juggler's dead. This might kill Rachel, though. 4,000? Yeah. Hmm. The Luna yeah. might carry everyone. Since we're looking at all magical damage here. Yeah, but Listel, Listel is gonna kill that Luna, though, right? Maybe? Yeah, because, I mean, the guards are gonna revive. I don't see how that Luna can carry long enough. Yeah, this is only ch this is only choice you have. Looks in. It's gonna kill Rachel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Game That's over. GG. All right. So Luna is on like one percent health ish. All right. He doesn't want to even try here. Well, what is there to do? <laughs> yeah. Probably just dead to the gargoyle troops. If the Luna did have something like 13, 1400 M defense, maybe you could have soloed the other two units. But that was yeah, so way too much damage. One well, the problem is the still had uh, Desperate Prayer and um, Bulwark. Okay, so Luxit wins the match 2 2 to 0. Yeah, so yep. the final is going to be Luxa versus Method. It's going to be sometime this weekend, I believe. Isn't that a repeat of uh, the first one? Yes, it's the repeat of the first tournament, the smaller one we held. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. I guess they're the two best players. <laughs> <laughs> and then, do we have an idea of like top how many gets the. Uh, Seeded to in, into the next tournament yet? Um, yeah, I think we still have to think it over. I mean, we have time. So All right. It's either top four or top eight, depending on how we want to deal with the, the final stage. Okay. If it's 
if it's like uh, round 32, then eight is fine. But if it's like round 16, then yeah. All right, and for much. the final match between Method and uh, Luxit here. Now, mm -hmm. Luxit have to win the best of three twice, right? Yes, to win. Yes. Mm -hmm. Since he's coming from the loser's bracket, Method is in the winner's bracket. He only have to win one best of three to take it. Yeah, pretty easy. Okay. It was actually the other way around last time. Yeah, since last time, Luxit was in the winner's. Yeah. But I believe Method won everything without losing once, I think. He like lost four. one match sometimes in the best of threes, right? Did he? So it was 4-1. Hmm, well, he's still in the winner's finals here. Must be doing everything correctly. <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you to both of yeah, you for joining you. in the stream. Straw and Loomis, so... When we get the schedule ready next time, we will let you know in the Discord. And thank you all for tuning into the stream. We'll yep, see you guys see you next time.